Hey, what's up everybody? It's Brian here with another tutorial. This time we're in Premiere and I'm gonna show you guys how to do two more transitions and they look a lot like this. So let's get to it guys. Let's buckle in and let's quickly cover how we do these transitions in Premiere. So I'm in Premiere already. I have laid out a sequence. Um, if you guys have already watched my round trip grading tutorial for DaVinci on how to go from Premiere to DaVinci back to Premiere, uh, this footage will look a lot familiar to you. In fact, it is already graded. This footage is not perfect. It's not that great, uh, but that's not the purpose of this tutorial. We're gonna just be covering how I do the zoom effect and the zoom out effect. Really easy, not hard, and in fact, they're both the same effect. One is just reversed. So let's get to it, guys, and I'll show you how this works. So before I get started, I wanna actually add a track or two here. So let's go to video tracks. Let's. I don't need any audio tracks, but whatever. And I just like to have the extra headspace here to work with as I'm making my tweaks. But realistically, I only need two tracks, two and three. Uh, what I wanna do is come down here to the new item. I wanna create an adjustment layer, 1920 by 1080 at my frame rate, and that works. Let's bring this over and make sure you have snap on so that this works. Now, um, I actually want this to be a really, really, really quick and poppy transition. So we don't need a lot of room here. So I'm gonna come over here to the cut point, hold down shift, backwards arrow twice, and let's create a cut there using the razor tool. Let's hold down shift twice back to the middle. And I wanna do three times here, like so. I'm gonna hold down the alt or option key and duplicate that to right above it. And I'm gonna use a razor tool. And in this case, I'm gonna delete the first one because we don't need it. On the first adjustment layer, I'm gonna add in a replicate effect, like so. Uh, but we actually need more than two times we actually need three so we need to make a total of nine replications or eight replications if this is the main one uh, and this looks good but now what i want to do is i want to make this a little bit more seamless as you guys can see here we have black 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 and then we get to like these really whites because it's replicated right it's like a, a, a tiling effect and we don't want that we actually want to use a replicate effect but we want to create some seamlessness essentially uh let's type in mirror here for the mirror effect and we're actually going to use this effect quite often now this is a very well-known effect you've probably have seen this before so this is nothing new to you guys uh, i want to start working um on my x-axis first so what i'm going to do is i am just going to slide this over and then as it gets closer, you can use the control key and you can inch your increments essentially to make them just even closer. Uh, you just want it to look as good as possible. We don't want random lines here that are distracting. This is gonna be very quick and, and yeah, you don't really need to worry too much about it. But the one thing you do need to worry about is you need to look at your original footage and make sure your edges make sense because this is where we want to land on, okay? Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add another mirror. Let's just drag that on real quick. This one I want to do at 90 degrees. And because we're at 90 degrees, that means we've turned the canvas a little bit. We're now replicating on the y-axis. So let's move this down like so. And I just want this right about there. Let's add another mirror effect. This one will do 180. We are back on the x-axis here. And we're going to do the same on this side. Bring this all the way over like so. And then one more mirror. And then this one will do 270. So we've pretty much gone around the wheel here. This one's also on the y-axis. You're just using the control key to slower my increments. And this will work. Cool. So we've essentially set up the base of this effect. Now let's do the animation of the transition. That one's gonna be done on the adjustment layer above. So for this one, I wanna use a transform. And then what I wanna do is I wanna come out here to the middle of the first part or the A part of the transition. And we're gonna set a keyframe on scale. Let's go to the B part of the transition, about the middle. And I wanna increase this by 300. And voila, there you go. Take a look at that. And now it's actually really, really fast. This is not what we want, but at least we've gotten our two keyframes down. On the other tutorials, what I usually do is I'll come here and I'll ease these 
keyframes out. We're actually not going to do that yet. We're going to do it in a different way as well. So I'll be introducing that to you guys. But uh, before I do that, I actually want to add some motion blur. So to do that, let's turn off our use composition shutter. And I like using a uh, shutter angle of about 180. Now it's not fast enough. It's actually a little too slow. Remember, we want this to be quick and hit really, really fast. So let's move the keyframes in. Perfect. That's what we want. Let's move away from the linear nature of this transition. So let's come to the keyframes. Let's do the drop down menu. And then what I want to do here is zoom in so I can see this a little bit better. And I want to drop the first keyframe down to zero velocity. And then drag that out. Do the same on this keyframe. Oop, that's too fast. Okay. Let's take a look at that. Perfect. And now we have a zoom in effect. Cool. So that's the first transition that I wanted to show you guys today. And now let's show you the second transition. This one's actually really easy to use. I can preset this and save it and then reverse it. Or we could just build it from scratch. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this adjustment layer. I'm going to drag it over here. The A part has this... Um, has this effect done to it. Now I'm gonna take the top one as well. I'm gonna move this over. Now all we have to do is we have to come down here and we just need to flip these keyframes. So let's flip them like so. Come to the middle. And now we zoom out. And that's how we uh, do this transition, guys. And this is also how I work nine out of 10 times, nice and procedural. So let's say I want the zoom effect here too. I literally just hold down the option key, highlight those two layers or the alt key on PC. And now I have zoom in and zoom out transitions. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.